Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to another video with a Roshank Reaction, and today I've got some more Fallout 3 for you guys. And folks, in this episode, we are actually going to be finishing up the main quest for good, which is pretty crazy. Because if you think about it, we're only, I think we're 43 episodes in, and we're already almost done with this LP. I would, I would say we're around 3 quarters to 4 fifths done. And Fallout 3 is a long game, so this this LP really hasn't been going for all that long, considering how long of a game this is. And one thing I do want to say here is that this is going to be really tough with the amount of health rats, so I need to be really careful here. Um, and this is actually this is actually my second take of this because in the past I just kept dying over and over. And Sarah does not help things. Sarah, where are you? Don't don't go without me, Sarah. She just kept rushing in like an idiot and alerting them to my presence when I was trying to like, you know, sneak around and be sneaky about it. But anyways, these two first guys aren't that bad. Uh, we can just shoot you in the face once. I think they, they both went down to one hit the last time I did this. Um, once you in the head once. And there are some, there are some more back there, but I guess we can't target them. Uh, so we'll just shoot you in the head again. We'll sort of alternate shots here. I hope that works. All right, we got him. Disintegrated him. But yeah, yeah, if, if, you, if we can hit these guys with the critical strikes and they pretty much go down in one to two hits, which is nice. And that guy just got annihilated as well. Okay, alright, and we're still, we're still not found yet, which is good. I'm gonna plot the Goss rifle here. Oh, crap. Freaking Sarah probably alerted them to our presence. Uh, we're gonna shoot you in the head. We can't see that one, so we're gonna shoot him twice. And the knockback feature is going to help us out a lot. Because I want to be, if possible, I don't want to lose any health at all. And the reason why is because we have another important battle right after this. And I want to be at full health for that. So we're going to actually shut those doors. And where is Sarah? I didn't even see her. Oh, she's over there. So it was actually my fault, huh? Okay, alright. Sorry for blaming you. You still suck though, Sarah. Okay, oh crap. We're going to shoot you in the head. Hopefully that kills... I know I really shouldn't be using the Goss Rifle all that much because the Goss Rifle does have, have limited condition and I can't repair it with normal weapons like other guns. Oh crap. Shoot. This isn't good. I don't actually know if we can complete the rest of the quest with this amount of health. I was hoping we'd have a little more. I'm pressing the button for the A3 but it's not coming up. Okay. Uh, that is not who I want to target. Oh crap. Okay, you're all the way over there. We're just going to shoot him in the face a few times and hope that works. But guys, I don't like the amount of health we're at. I really do not, to be honest. Uh, okay, we got him. We got him. Okay. This is going to be tough. This is going to be really tough. I welcome the challenge, though, I suppose. We're going to take all of that. Take laser rifle. Take the energy cell. Is there any way to restore our health right now? Because if we could, that would be really nice. I'm going to look around here briefly. I don't, I'm pretty sure that there isn't. I'm pretty sure we're just going to have to go in like this. If it doesn't work out, what I will do is I will try going through it again and see if I can do it with slightly more health. I wish I wish some of them had like some food or something. Wait, let me check my inventory to see if we have anything to help us out. I do not think that we do. No, it doesn't look like we do. Uh, we can we can use the Psycho though and we can use the, uh, the Medax. I think we're going to do that right before we go in. Go into this final fight. And this is not the way for the final fight. I believe it is not that way. If I can actually get there. Jeez. It's not complicated, Rohan. It's right here. Okay, okay. Alright, guys. So th this battle is going to be definitely very tough. Because there are going to be three enemies that we have to fight. And one of them, spoilers, is going to be Colonel Autumn. So we're going to take the Medex, take the Psycho, and enter. Alright, let's see if we can do this. I think potentially we can. Potentially. We'll have to see that. We just have to spam away at Colonel Autumn with the laser rifle here and hope that things work out. You again. I can't say I'm surprised. You and your ilk seem hell-bent on destroying everything our government has worked to achieve. There's nothing to stop me from killing you this time. Let's end this. Okay, I freaking hate this guy, and I'm definitely going to enjoy killing him. If not this time, if we fail this time, eventually I'm going to enjoy killing you. You're in over your head, I'm afraid. But this is the path you choose for yourself. Tell your father I said hello. Okay, this is what we're going to do. We're going to vats immediately and just spam him to the head with a metal blaster. I really hope this works. That is doing a good amount of damage. We crippled his head as well, which is nice. Oh shoot, oh shoot, oh shoot. Oh crap, oh crap. Please fire at Sarah. Please fire at Sarah. I'm begging you, I'm begging you, I'm begging you, I'm begging you. Oh crud, oh crud. Oh, we died, okay. Gonna have to try that again, guys. Gosh, I'm such an idiot. I am such an idiot. Okay, guys, I've been keeping count. This is my fifth take. This is my fifth take. I don't know why I'm being so stubborn, but I really want to see if I can beat him on this low health. I'm going to enjoy killing you. 
But this is the path you choose for yourself. Tell your father I said hello. Okay. I'm, I'm going to creep forward here a little bit and see if we can get a couple more shots off on, on, on him this way. I know this is more risky, but hopefully this will work out. Please kill him. Yes. Okay. Okay. That's good. That's good. And hopefully these other two guys will go down a little bit easier. Oh, crud. Oh, crud. I'm just going to hide behind this pillar. Sarah, take care of them for me. Suppose I could pull out the Goss Rifle. I'm actually going to pull out the Goss Rifle and see if we can knock them back here. Shoot you in the face a few times. I'm still worried about using the Goss Rifle. Jeez. That is some very strange body movement. That is definitely not normal. And I shouldn't have fired two shots. I don't I don't know why I fired two shots. Because I just wanted to knock him back once. Okay. Please die. Please die. We're just going to spam. Yes. Okay. Now die. 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 Okay. We got him. We got him. Sweet. Okay. That's really nice. And I believe Colonel Autumn is actually carrying a unique weapon, Colonel Autumn's laser pistol, which I don't think it's any better than the weapons we have right now, but it could be worth picking up. Well, so we're going to try that after up. this. By now, the pride should be mopping up whatever opposition is left outside. Let's get this room secured. Okay, okay. Uh, and let's search Colonel Autumn. Colonel Autumn's laser pistol will take his energy shell, will take his uniform. And actually, guys, this next part of the game is very epic. And I want you guys to hear it without my commentary. So that's actually going to do it for me for this episode. I hope you enjoy the ending, and I will see you in the next episode of Fallout 3. The facility has been damaged during the fighting. Some of it looks accidental, some of it may have been sabotage. There's pressure building up in the holding tanks. It needs to be released now, or else the whole facility could explode. To release the pressure, you're going to have to turn the purifier on. Do you understand me? It has to be turned on now. If I'm reading this right, I'm afraid there are lethal levels of radiation inside the chamber. I'm sorry. I wish there was some other way, but there's just no time. It has to be done now, or the damage will be catastrophic. Well, so much for celebrating. One of us is going to have to go in there and turn the damn thing on. And whoever does it isn't coming back out. Not exactly how I imagine going out, you know? So, what should we do? Draw straws? You're going to have to be quick about it. If the radiation is bad enough, you won't have much time. I won't forget what you've done here. No one will. Thank you. And so it was that the lone wanderer ventured forth from Vault 101, intent on discovering the fate of a father who had once sacrificed the future of humanity for that of his only child. The Capital Wasteland proved a cruel, inhospitable place, and the lone wanderer ultimately surrendered to the vices that had claimed so many others. Selfishness, greed, cruelty. These were the values that guided a lost soul through countless trials and triumphs. But it was not until the end of this long road that the Lone Wanderer learned the true meaning of that greatest of virtues, sacrifice. Stepping into the irradiated control chamber of Project Purity, the child followed the example of the father, sacrificing life itself for the greater good of mankind. Sadly, when selected by the sinister president to be his instrument of annihilation, the Wanderer agreed, 
Humanity would be preserved, but only in its purest form. The waters of life flowed at last, but the virus contained within soon eradicated all those deemed unworthy of salvation. The capital wasteland, despite its progress, became a graveyard. So ends the story of the Lone Wanderer who stepped through the great door of Vault 101 and into the annals of legend. But the tale of humanity will never come to a close, for the struggle of survival is a war without end. And war... War never changes.